Nice to finally meet you, Mr. Howard. It's nice to meet you, too. Call me Bryce. You can call me Mr. after you get hired. Please, have a seat. Are you sitting down? Uh, yes, sir. Would you like some coffee, miss? Um, no, thank you. I'm fine. Oh, please. It took me all morning to make it. I would hate for it to go to waste. All right, sure. So, as you may know, I'm new here. I've just moved in. I'm looking for someone to help me get used to this part of town. I need someone to guide me to the grocery store, work, etc. Just until I get the routes embedded and memorized in my head. Oh, how's your coffee? Very good, thank you. You see, the moment someone like me, a blind man, steps outside his front door, it's just noise. Nothing but noise. Utter chaos. Do you know what I mean? No, of course you don't. Have you ever heard of a man named Donald Tumbler? No, I can't say that I have. Well, Mr. Tumbler hired a helper. And she was very neglectful and couldn't care less about the old man. He got so fed up, he decided to walk it off. The car killed him instantly. That's terrible. Well, enough about that. Now, you told me over the phone that you have eight years' experience in helping people. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I could have sworn I turned it off. It won't happen again. Is that your phone? Uh, yes, that was my cell phone. May I see it? Uh, yeah. Wow. They just keep getting smaller, don't they? What color is it? Uh, it's red. Can you explain that to me? Explain what? Red. Can you explain the color red to me? Yeah. Um, color red symbolizes love and passion, similar to a red rose. I don't understand. How can a color explain passion and love? When for someone like me who's never seen a red Rose, it just doesn't make any sense. You see, I believe it's someone's own personal life, their past, what they've done and what they've been through that makes them feel the way they do about an object or a color. Because for someone like me, the color red is just an unseen color. I don't quite understand your point. The point is, Rachel, I'm going to need for you to explain things to me in order for me to understand them. Do you think you can handle that? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Now, if you don't mind, I want you to answer a question. No, I don't mind. 
wearing this. I don't understand. Now, Rachel, in order for us to work together, we're going to need to trust each other. Okay. Now that we're both equal, I'd like to ask you a question. Answer as truthfully as possible. Okay. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Um, I don't know. Probably back in high school when I stole some clothes, but... What if I was to tell you that I know what the worst thing you ever done was? What do you mean? I mean Mr. Tumbler. He was my father. <coughs> and the irresponsible woman he hired was you. <coughs> Good coffee, huh? My father was a good man. All he had to do was take care of him. Well, Mr. Tumbler hired to help her. <laughs> 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 Stop hiring! Dang it! Stop! And... <laughs> 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 <laughs>